as we move on from Gerasimus, we come to a moment where a man in desperation reaches out to Jesus. It's quite an important thing because in Gerasimus, they're now trying to understand, do they believe in this Jesus and will they become followers of this Jesus? And for every person, there's this thing of, of holding on and letting go. Should I trust this Jesus? They've seen miracle, miracle upon miracle upon miracle. What will it take for them to become believers? And it's part about loss and gain. Many people are afraid because if they accept Jesus, they will have to leave other things behind. Relationships, habits, sin, all those different things. And we've got this man now called Jairus. He's a leader in the synagogue. For him to follow Jesus would risk a lot. But he comes to a moment where he is faced with an even bigger loss, the loss of his daughter. Let's read Mark chapter 5, verse 21. When Jesus again crossed by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him while he was by the lake. Then one of the synagogue leaders named Jairus came, and when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. He pleaded earnestly with him, My little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. Your heart goes out to Jairus. He has been watching Jesus. He knows of Jesus. He knows that Jesus is not very popular amongst the leaders in the synagogue. But now his daughter is close to death. What is more important to him? His power, his position, his reputation in society, or his child? And so... In the potential death of his child, he takes a decision to put his trust in Jesus. And he throws himself at Jesus' feet. What will it take for you and your family to realize that everything is won when we find Jesus? And nothing is lost that we need. I have many friends who say one day they'll come to Jesus. They just want to continue with what they are first are doing first what will it take for them to realize that they're risking it all Jairus comes to a moment of decision and he puts his daughter in Jesus' hands and I pray that you would do the same by praying for your family and friends God bless and have a good day